Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm here uh, to teach you the suture materials. Suture materials. Suture materials basically are of uh, two types. Number one, absorbable. Another is a non absorbable. So, uh, basically, further absorbable is further divided in uh, two types, which is a natural. And synthetic and non-absorbable also divided in uh, natural and synthetic okay now the absorbable which were I told you earlier they are divided in uh, natural and uh, synthetic now the nat in natural absorbable suture there is a number one cat gut which is also known as uh, chromic or plan now the synthetic and synthetic absorbable suture there is a polyglactin nine ten which is commonly known as Vicryl Another number 2 which is known as a polydioxanone Polydioxanone also known as a PDS Number three, polyglecoprom. Polyglecoprom, which is uh, twenty-five, uh, has a twenty-five to fifty percent tensile strength. It has twenty-five to uh, fifty percent. Tensile strength at the two weeks. Now, number four polyglyconate poly which have a uh, fifty percent. Tensile strength uh, at four weeks. Now, uh, number fifth, which is polyglycolic acid. Polyglycolic acid. Now, there are a uh, monofilament and multifilament. An absorbable natural, the cat gut is the monofilament. Now, what do you mean by the monofilament and multifilament? Monofilament, which usually have one single thread, that are monofilament, which have a double stranded, or you can say the triple, there are 
Dit comes in the multi-flament. Now, cat girl, which is also the chromic and plan. This is a monoflament and the polyglac in the synthetic polyglac 10910, which is also commonly known as a vicral, is the multiflament and a polydioxanone PDS, which is the monoflament and the polyglacoprom, which have a 25 to 50% enzyme strength. This is uh, also the monofilament and the polyglaconet with a 50% tensile strength at 4 week is also the monofilament and the polyglycolic acid. This is a multifilament. Okay, now comes to the uh, non absorbable suture. Also divided into natural and synthetic. Now in natural number one, silk number two, linen number three, cotton number four. Stainless steel Okay, now hair in synthetic number one Nylon Number two Polypropylene Which is commonly known as proline used in the skin number three polyester now here comes the monofilament and multifilament you should also know the what who, which suture material is a monofilament and which suture material is a multifilament silk is the multifilament Now the cotton is also the multifilament and the polypropylene which is also known as a proline is a monofilament and polyester is also multifilament. That's all the suture materials. Thank you.